So today on Stoffer Garage, we have a very special truck for you guys that's gonna get detailed on the inside and outside. It is a Ram TRX, and this thing is not stock. It sounds insane, and I'll definitely do a sound clip at the end of this video. Plus, I have a new tool that's gonna make something extremely easy that you guys are not gonna wanna miss. If you can guess, comment down below. Subscribe if you're new. Let's go ahead and get started on this beast of a truck. Now, while you watch me unload this center console of all the debris, I just want to say thank you for watching my channel and being a subscriber. It means a lot to me and it's what makes this channel possible. So, thank you. As always, rubber floor mats are a lifesaver and something everybody should have inside their vehicle. It makes cleaning so much easier, trust me. Now when it comes to vacuum, I always prefer the small nozzle over a wider one because your flow velocity is a lot higher, but also if you're really trying to get everything, it's the only tool to get to. So that way you don't have to waste time switching different nozzles from a wider one to a smaller one for all those tight nooks and crannies. Now one thing that's hard to imagine is how big this truck is, and for just being a 1500 chassis, it is huge. When I get to the exterior, you'll see, I'm 6'2", and it is hard for me to reach the roof to the point where even on the step boards, it's a big truck, you'll see. Now there's multiple segments of Alcantara inside this car, and if you have a vehicle yourself with Alcantara, just spray all-purpose cleaner lightly on a brush, agitate, and then use a microfiber towel to wipe any dirt and grime that's collected clean. Worst case is you can get to extraction, but typically just use an APC on Alcantara is the best way to clean it. Now these are the new Fox Clean detailing brushes. We have this light duty one, which is for very, very good for delicate surfaces. So if you have any painted interior plastic screens, these ones are super, super gentle. We have a stiff bristle fiber one, which is great for leather, and then also a boar's hair one, which is great for leather and exterior. I mostly use the boar's hair for the exterior for emblems, but that three pack kit is available at foxclean.com. And if you want, there is also a code listed down below that you can get a ton percentage off on your entire order. So definitely check that out.
Now for all the leather seats, I'm just using Minshine leather cleaner and conditioner to clean these things up. They aren't super dirty, so no need for a drill brush. Just spray on some leather cleaner and wipe with a microfiber towel. It's typically plenty if you keep your car in good condition, so that way you don't have to bust out the heavy duty stuff. Best part about rubber floor mats, spray them off with a pressure washer or a hose, and then spray on some APC, agitate them with some sort of bristle brush, rinse them off again, and you're done. For the wheels and tires, I'm spraying on Mint Shine Wheel Cleaner. This stuff works really well for a touchless wheel clean and it also cleans the inside barrel if you let it sit for about 45 seconds and then pressure wash it off. I actually use this a lot when you have cars that have been sitting out for a long period of time and they have caked on you know, dirt, grime, mold, or even just a ton of bugs or tar. Just spray it on, let it sit as well, and it does the same exact thing on this and it is not harmful to the paint at all. Yeah, don't do that. Don't don't drop your wash mitt. It's a horrible idea. Like I said earlier, I'm 6'2", and it is even hard for me to reach the windshield on this thing. Um, but my wash bay is a very large wash bay, and this truck makes it seem small. Okay, so the secret tool I was talking about earlier, this is the InnoCraft Drizzle D1 spray gun. It's got low volume, low pressure capability. It's got a regulator in the box. It's got an air oil separator in the box. It comes with different nozzle tips and the adjustability on this gun is insane. You can adjust the fan angle, you can adjust the flow, the air regulator pressure. It's an incredible spray gun right out of the box. And for 110 bucks on Amazon, I don't think you can pick up a better tool if you have painting jobs around your house. But for me, when it comes to knobby tires like this, having the ability to spray it on makes it a much easier job to make sure you get full coverage on a tire. I'm also using it for the engine bay to apply a dressing on all the covers because you can just spray it on. You don't have to worry about getting into all the little lettering and logos. This makes it a ton easier, and like I said, for 110 bucks, you cannot beat it. It's a complete boxed kit of everything you can need, minus your air compressor. So definitely check out that link down below, pick it up, because this is a tool that I recommend for every detailer, but also for the DIYer, because you can use it for your car as well, and for any projects that you're working on. 